Hey guys, today I am back. It has been too long. Today I've got a brand new video for you. Okay, so I am a Manchester United fan, and obviously we have been a little bit slow in the market recently. So I thought that I might as well like make a little video explaining the kind of players that we need to sign because our club is a little bit of a mess. But you know, I feel like I feel like if we sign these players. It'd be like a really big step in the right direction from going from being a Europa League team to being a Champions League proper contender. Like, honestly, it's just it's just really annoying that we still have players like Chris Smalling, Phil Jones, Matteo Damian, all playing and people actually thinking that we have... Okay, Damian's not that bad, but you know... Okay, he's not great, but he's not... Just, it's really annoying to see these players on the team sheet, especially Jesse Lingard. Like, I love the guy, he's, he's sound, don't get me wrong. But his end product is absolutely appalling in comparison to one of the players that I'm going to compare him to today. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the first position that I think we need to upgrade in is probably the left back position. I think the player that I think we need to sign is Alex Grimaldo from Benfica. He's a left back, 23 years old, he's only 5 foot 8 in terms of height and achievements wise he's done a lot for Benfica, winning the league three times in the last three seasons back to back which is pretty impressive. I was looking at his stats, if you go on whoscored.com he's been just doing Apps. He's just been incredible, really. Turns out that he's a better dribbler, better crosser than Luke Shaw, and he has similar number like interceptions and tackles. So the fact that he got 12 assists last season, it's mad because that's more assists than Luke Shaw has in his entire Manchester United career. I mean, it's clear that Grimaldo's crossing is far superior than Shaw's. Far superior. I just think this player signing him is a step in the right direction. Just it would take us a lot forward because I feel like now we signed Arwan Bissaka, our right side is looking a little bit more kind of solid, if you know what I mean. But I just I feel like defensively our left side is is so vulnerable now and is I just think because Luke Shaw's okay, but he's not what I would say is world class. And I just all has that potential. I don't think he's gonna unlock that potential of like reaching that world class status that he he should because he's just not been the same since that injury. I've been looking at his stats and in comparison to other players like Robertson, Andy Robertson from Liverpool. Hate saying that. I hate having to compare our players to Liverpool players. It's, it's actually oh, it's embarrassing. But the fact that Robertson, I've just compared the two. Robertson's levels above just the energy, the, the stamina that he has, the crossing that he brings. It's it's just a whole nother level from Luke Shaw. It, it's just yeah. So I think Alex Grimaldo is the player that we should sign at left back. And if you don't believe that, check out this um, goal compilation that I saw. Well, not goal compilation, but like skills and like looking at the players' like abilities and stuff in terms of like creating like chances. Look at the the compilation that I'm putting in the description. Just check it out. It's a, I, after watching that video, it kind of sold me a bit more on Grimaldo. So if you're still like down yourself, check him out. But yeah, next player. Ruben Diaz in the long term. I think it'll be good not only for Lindelof but also Twan ZB because it will make Twan ZB have to work harder in terms of getting that first team place so he will have to improve himself. I just feel like it's kind of that iron iron sharpens iron like thing where Ruben Diaz just his presence will encourage Twan ZB and Lindelof to do well because they'll realise that their places aren't guaranteed so they have to be consistent performers. I was looking at Ruben Diaz, so he's 22 years old and um, the reason why I think we should sign him is because he's better on the ball than Jones and Smalling and his like his 
possession, like when he's on the ball, he doesn't lose it as much as Smalling and Jones would do. I mean, obviously people will say it's the Portuguese league, but we signed Lindelof from the Portuguese league and he's turning out all right. In fact, he's our best centre-back alongside Eric Bailly. I mean, we've also got Marcus Rojo, but I think he should be sold because he's just not great. His 16-17 season, good. But now, no. him, Smalling, Jones, if you want to win, like, contend for titles, those three have to go. Like, Deadwood, them three, gone. Now, that's what I'm saying. Ruben Diaz, I think, in the long term is good because he's 22 years of old, 22 years of age. So he will only get better. I just feel like if we sign Harry Maguire, he'll be good for the next three seasons, three, five seasons. But I think after that, he'll just decline. I feel like Ruben Diaz is good for at least seven seasons. You'll get these decent performances out of him. I watched the Nations League final and he sold me. I, he sold me on him. Like As soon as I watched that game, I just knew this guy is something special. And I heard that Wolves are trying to sign him. Like If he goes to Wolves, that's... That has got to be like one of the best underrated like transfers. But yeah, I just think Ruben Diaz is a big improvement on Jones, Smalling, and Rocco. I think him, Bailly, and Twan Zibi and Lindelof as our like four centre back options would be pretty decent. Because you've got two kind of upcoming centre backs that are trying to establish themselves, and then you've got Lindelof and Bailly like kind of established almost establishing center backs obviously by won't be as won't be able to play as much because of his like injury problems so you know we'll have Ruben Diaz and Twan Zibi there as well so that's I, I just personally feel like Ruben Diaz in the long term will be good but obviously those people in the in the comments they're about to say Harry Maguire is a lot better because of his headers and the way he brings out the ball you know you've got a fair point I'm just saying in the long term I feel like Ruben Diaz is better but you know you're entitled to your opinion, so I'm not. I'm not say I ain't complaining either way. If we got Harry Maguire, or Ruben Diaz, I won't complain. I just my heart's kind of swing towards Ruben Diaz. You know? All right, I'm back. So the next player on my mind that I want to talk about is my guy Bruno Fernandez. Now, if you've been on that. Like, the internet, you're gonna realize that we've been linked to Bruno for Bruno's for to Bruno Fernandez for like two months straight. All we've been doing is talking and talking and talking. Apparently, he's been on the plane, you know, to fly in for a medical. Bossman's been on the plane for like three weeks. It's actually ridiculous. That he's such a class player. Like this guy here got 25 goals and 13 assists in 45 games for Sporting Lisbon. They didn't even win. The, the league. I was watching the Nations League game. My guy was taking pot shots from 30 yards out. You know what I'm saying? He, he created chances with ease. 13 assists does highlight that he is very good at creating chances. I was watching some of his some of his play in the um, in the video compilations. I know video compilations aren't the best, but it's a good way to look at the best bits of the player, which is what I care about, especially for a midfielder. Is, He's good at creating chances. I just think personally, him alongside Pogba in a midfield with maybe McTominay or another DM would be something that our club greatly needs. Because I think last season, what happened was Pogba would would be on Pogba would play, and what would happen is all clubs had to do was just man mark Pogba, make sure that he can't get into the game. And then that literally just cut off the supply line for our forwards. And we just really struggled to create chances. And I just feel like if we sign Bruno Fernandes, it's another alternative, like another way to create chances. So, compilation, link down below. If you don't rate him, check it out. Or just rewatch the Nations League final, if you can find the whole game in four. If I, I will try and find it, and I'll put a link. But yeah, so that's, that's it. It's Grimaldo, Diaz, Fernandes. All right, moving on to this one. This one, when I was looking up the stats, I was like, I knew this player, I was like, yes, I know, and I was like, rah, really? Okay, so the next player that I think at right wing we need to sign is Nicolas Pepe. This. So by the time I decided to like edit this video, Arsenal already like pretty much confirmed, about to announce that they've signed Nicolas Pepe. So you know, it's obvious that the, that the, the Arsenal 
technical directors have been watching my recordings pretty briefly and so they've just gone and signed one of the players that I recommended to United but you know so um, I'm probably gonna have to change one of the targets so uh, I think there's only one other reasonable alternative to to uh, to Nicolas Pepe and that is Paulo Dybala he's such a class player like his dribbling is he's just like the next level of players that we need at the club he's just class the way if uh, you don't even have to go far to find clips of him being just an amazing player go watch the two times he played against United at home at Juve and then away at Old Trafford for them anyway he hit the crossbar like his link up play the way he plays with others is just class his season before Ronaldo came in dwindled his stats he racked up I think like 22 goals and a few assists either way it's probably these last two seasons are still probably better than Lingard's entire career so you know I think if Dybala did come he'll definitely be able to start on the right hand side and kind of drift in play that matter role and link up well with Pogba and Rashford or Martial whoever's playing up front because he does like to play just in that 10 role I feel like if we have Dybala, Bruno and Pogba all kind of creating and creating for us, that that's it's gonna cause the team a lot of problems. Yeah. Is Dybala a good signing to make? Yes. Right, on to the next player that we should sign. But for this kind of player, because we've already got the Rashford, which is someone up and coming, and we've got Greenwood. Yeah. Greenwood, he can play right wing as well, or striker. We've got Greenwood and Rashford. I just feel like if one of them, we need at least an established player like Real Madrid have an established and a young. We have two young players, which I think is okay, but it would be better like just for extra insurance that we got Ben Yolo. This guy has scored 15 goals in every single season since 2012. It's ridiculous, man. It's just, it's world class. That's what he is. And I just feel like we need to sign him for the for the next kind of three we could get three to four really good season good like seasons out of them and then by that time greenwood and rashford would have been established and then they could start benio would then eventually leave but yeah in order to compensate for all the, compensate for all these signings smalling jones lingard Mata. um i think are the players that we need to get rid of Damian and Rocco as well, and I think uh, Lee Grant is probably another player that we need to get rid of because he's good. He's okay, but like he's a nice little leader player, can play cup games, which is good. But he's just he just play on the wage bill really. Um, yeah, those are the players I feel we need to sell. Ben Yedda, compilation link. In fact, just rewatch. The way he, this guy dismantled us two seasons ago, that's that that at that moment I already knew he was a class player, but to be fair, it was Smalling and Jones. But I don't even think it was Smalling and Jones. I can't even remember my memory is so bad. But, but all I remember is this guy dismantled us with ease. Okay, these five players. I think this is a big step in the, in in the right direction, and personally, I feel like we could be contenders for the league. If we do sign those players, but if we don't, then I feel like we're kind of just top four contenders. We Thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy my video. Comment down below if you feel like we need to sign other players. Like, uh, I feel like there was a DM, but I wasn't really sure who. So, uh, I feel like Harry Maguire's done then do better option as calm. If you if you doubt any of these players' abilities, check the videos that I'm going to link in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.